welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. It is officially my last video of 2020 and Christmas is all done with and over now so I hope you all had a great lovely Christmas and celebrated it in whatever way you did especially with this year being a little bit different to the normal year I hope you still had an amazing Christmas but that does mean as well that the new year is around the corner and with the new year coming a lot of people choose to set goals new year's resolutions whatever you want to call them for the new year ahead so I thought I would share a video on the actual science of how you can achieve your goals because myself included we've all been there where we set goals we set targets for ourselves and things we'd like to achieve however that's all very well at the start of the year and we have that motivation gets a month in maybe even just a few weeks of the year and you forget what those are you forget what you're working towards you get to the end of the year and you think hang on what did I actually do towards those goals that I initially had at the start of the year so hopefully these tips that I share with you today will actually help you achieve the goals that you set out to achieve so first thing is focus on what your strengths are so when we play into what our strengths are when we're setting our goals it makes us much more likely to actually go out and achieve those goals they align with us as a person and what we can actually do and therefore they seem so much more achievable and will be so much more motivated towards achieving that goal I know often that can sound a little bit counterintuitive because sometimes goals are set to kind of change who you are slightly or to work on something that's a little bit different for you which is all very well and you can still very much do that but pick up on what that thing is that you want to achieve what you can actually actively do towards it in terms of what your strengths are and how that aligns with you and who you are and then it will be a much clearer path to that goal and also make you much more likely to achieve it the second thing is set goals for you again this may sound obvious but actually sometimes even though it's us changing something about ourselves or us doing something for ourselves it may actually also involve another person and by that I mean changing something about yourself or doing something because you think it will change how someone else views you whereas when we do that though when you reach that goal and you get to your end goal and you reach that end point the other person may not react the way that you expect them to and also it's not fulfilling for yourself because it's not working on something that you truly want to work on and what truly aligns with you so it's really important to set the goals that you actually want to achieve and they're for you not for anyone else and not because it's what someone else thinks you should be doing or because it's sort of your view of them and what you think will make them think of you as a better person always set your goals for you and do them for you the third thing is to actually have a plan and a way of measuring your progress again it may sound kind of obvious but I know it's definitely so easy to set a goal and think yes I'm going to get that I'm going to work on that and get towards it but then when it comes to it if you don't actually have a plan in place you probably won't end up working towards that goal so by knowing exactly what you're going to do to get you to that goal and get you to where you want to be it can make it so much easier and also make you so much more motivated to achieve that goal and also help ensure that you get there and then also by having a way of actually measuring your progress as you go whatever that may be whatever your goal may be even if it's just having a weekly check-in to see what you've done that will help you get you closer to that goal during that week some way of measuring your progress to ensure that you're getting closer to that goal and getting closer to that end point would also help ensure that you get there and also probably make you get there faster as well as you're constantly reminding yourself of that goal and always pushing to work on it and work towards it the fourth thing is be specific it's quite easy just to set a very generic very general goal however if you don't actually know what you're going to specifically achieve with that goal it can make it harder to get there and make you less likely to get there as well so by this I I mean for example in the new year a lot of people say they want to start eating healthier they want to be more healthy they want to eat a healthy diet so that's all very well you know you want to be healthy but what are you actually going to specifically do to get you closer to that goal what does healthy actually mean to you because eating healthier can mean so many different things that it may seem overwhelming and you may not know where to start however for example if you were like I want to eat more fruit and veg so I'm going to try eating at least three different veg a day and two different fruit to get me to my five a day. That way you can actually specifically work on something and you get closer to your healthier eating goal. And once you've achieved that, then you can start working on something else. I want to eat, for example, less saturated fat. I want to incorporate more sort of whole foods into my diet. And then also set in goals for when you're going to do that, how you're going to do that, how often you're going to do that, and really being specific so that you get close to your goal 
and actually have a specific thing to work on as opposed to just an overall kind of umbrella goal that could go in multiple directions and make it much harder to actually specifically achieve that goal. The fifth thing is to plan for anything that might get in the way of you achieving that goal. So whatever the hurdle may be, have a good think about what are some of the things that have stopped you achieving that goal in the past before? Why have you not started working on that sooner? What are some of your barriers? And then that way, when you're working towards that goal, if those things do come up, if they get in the way, you'll have already figured out a way to deal with them and how to get past them to still be able to work towards your main end goal. This could really vary depending on your goal. It could be something related to money. It could be a relationship with someone else. It could be just even having the motivation to reach that goal. Whatever it may be, figure out what you're going to do when that situation arises so you know exactly how to deal with it. And then the sixth and final thing is something that may not work for everyone, but I know quite a few people find it useful, and that is tell someone else about your goal. Tell someone else what you're going to be working on. As I mentioned before, we don't want our goals set for other people. We don't want our motivation to be someone else. We want to be working on our goals for ourselves. However, once you have that goal, if you share it with someone or tell someone else, or just put it out there, or even just write it down at least, it can hold you more accountable and make you much more likely to achieve it as you feel like you've now put it out there, so you're going to have to follow through with it and you're going to have to work on it. So hopefully you found this video useful and it helps you work on your goals for whatever 2021 may hold. Let me know what something in the new year is that you would like to achieve, something you'd like to do, whatever it may be, no matter how big or small, down below in the comments. I'd love to hear them all and have a read through of them all. Also hope you have a good end to 2020. Like I said before, I know it's been a bit of a weird year, but I hope you managed to end it on a high in some kind of way. Also be sure to smash a big thumbs up on this video if you have enjoyed it, as well as clicking on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel, as that means so much to me if you could do that. And don't forget there's also that notifications bell too that you can tap on so that you're notified whenever I upload. And I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.